Hey guys, I'm going to teach y'all how to really easily um, make any of your clothing follow any type of blend shape like this. I recently found a process to like just pretty much automate this for the most part. You might have to do a little bit of cleanup depending on what part of the body it's being adjusted, but other than that, like it's it's a huge time saver. And I kind of just want to show it off to you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with it. I'm going to separate this real quick so I can... Um, Start with one without any blend shapes to show you how to do this. All right, so we're gonna use the other one here that does not have any blend shapes on it. Okay, so as you can see, you only have basis, which is just the starting blend shape. Uh, make sure you do have at least one blend shape that's called basis just in here because if you don't, it will it will cause things to mess up. Um, <clears throat> so click on your shirt or whatever. Your piece of clothing is go into your modifiers and go to surface to form so what this is allowing you to do is it's allowing your mesh to follow your base the way it deforms as pretty much as the best it can um i'll show you all here in a second so just click on target and you're going to pretty much click on your base or you can just use the dropper and select whatever you want to um to follow um, so once you do that, press the bind button and you're ready to go. Just click on your base and whatever you want it to adjust, you just crank up and as you can see, it's starting to follow the mesh. And to show you real quick, um, on the shirt and the pants, there's literally still no blend shapes here. It is all being adjusted by that modifier. Um, so let me go ahead and just crank it up like so. And then we're going to go back to the modifier and to apply this, we're going to click on, so don't click apply, but click on apply a shape key. And you can see it shrinks back in. That's just because it put it in a shape key for you right here. Just go ahead and rename it. There we go. And then as you can see, it is now a blend shape. It's very, very simple. Um, let me go ahead and crank this back down and show you how to do it again. Because um, on some parts of the body, it might mess up. So I can just show you how to quickly clean it up. So we're going to go ahead and make sure, uh, also, when you're just doing another blend shape, make sure everything is at zero when you start this process again. Because if there's anything that's already pre-cranked up at all, it won't follow anything correctly. So. Um, Let's go ahead and reapply the surface to form modifier. Make sure you're clicked on your clothing that you're using. Surface to form. Once again, click the body, bind, and then we just do the same thing again. And as you see, if I crank up the chest area, you can see there's kind of some problems here, but we can easily fix that, no problem. Um, so I'm going to turn away real quick and apply this so I don't accidentally show Booba and get demonetized here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on your um, your shirt once you're done. And you're going to apply the shape key like before. Go ahead and crank this up. Um, okay, so once it's cranked up, you can just go in sculpt mode. And then just, just smooth it out real quick. Just clean up a little bit. And... There we go. Easy as that. And it's now a working bun shape. Easy as that. Um, and that's really about it. Hope this uh, really helps you out. Because honestly, it helps me out a lot. It's a very big time saver. Very, very big time saver. Hope you guys have a uh, good rest of your day and have a good one.